what's going on everybody hope you're all staying healthy and having a great day real quick this video is sponsored by gprisers.com please check them out if you guys need risers they have a quality product and a great website to order from this tang on top of it is an amazing dude all right so i just want to bring you guys a quick video today this 1660 super that i have right here has hynix memory and it had an issue running at my normal overclocks for my 1660s. I have roughly around 40 of these 1660s, not this brand and not Hynix memory, but I do have around 40 of them and they pull in just around 30 mega hash. This one for some reason was only getting 24 mega hash max. That's all I could get out of it with the same clocks. So did some research our boy ssv normandy over at our discord group actually told us about a trick and i brought it over to hive os and tried it out so let's get into my hive i want to show you guys all right now we are into my hive os i want to show you guys so right down here right i have a 1660 super in the first slot and then the rest of them are all 1660 ti's you can see they get a right around 30 31 mega hash depending on the card i mean unfortunately they're not all created equal so roughly around 30 mega hash per card that's what you should be getting off a of 1660 ti um, in hive os they're running about 70 watts you can see my core clock is at 100 the memory is at 1950 and the power limits at 70. So now I want to show you guys what I have going on in one of my other rigs. All right, so here we go. As you guys can see, this is my studio rig. I have four 3060 Ti's on here, along with one 1660 Super, the one I just showed you guys in the video prior. It is only getting 24 0.16 mega hash 72 watts which is correct the mega hash is obviously wrong i have the same core clock at 100 and the memory at 1950 power limit at 70 that's all i'm getting 24.16 so i found a trick that will give you the correct hash rate more or less so for those of you that don't know yet in hive os versus msi afterburner you need to double the amounts of memory usually, but also in this case, the core clock. So what I'm going to do is delete the 100. I'm gonna do negative 1004 because the max you can go negative on MSI Afterburner is negative 502. So doubling that would be negative 1004. I'm gonna do the same thing for the memory, negative 1004. Keep the power limit at 70, fan at 60, and I'm going to click apply. Why don't we give it a second? I'm going to reboot the rig just so the settings entirely take to the miner and to the card itself. You want to restart the rig. So I'm going to refresh the page. All right, so the miner has to restart because we just rebooted the rig. So everything says NA right now. I'm going to refresh. Look at that. 31. 0.81 mega hash it's even better than my other 1660s with this setting negative 1004 on the core and negative 1004 on the memory this only works with the cards that have hynix memory as you can see right here it says hynix gddr6 as long as it says hynix there you're good I have a few cards with Micron memory doing this type of overclock. Did not work. Um, it got it closer with the negative 502. But it does not work to this extent, just like the Hynix memory does getting up to this mega hash. So just wanted to release that quick video for you guys. Hopefully it helps some of you. Um, if you're having this issue, 24 mega hash with Hynix memory, in MSI Afterburner, change the clock and the memory down to negative 502. Basically slide it to the left as far as you can, and you guys should be good. All right, 
I appreciate you all. Hopefully this helps some of you. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.